Welcome to another KV Core Lead Generation Masterclass. Again, it is Nick McCree. Welcome, guys. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, looks like we're going to have a bunch of people pop in here. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, a lot of high-level overview stuff today. Um, on today's video, we're going to be talking all about lead generation tools that KV Core provides. Um, there is a lot that KV Core does. And so uh, I, this video is really going to break down all the different parts of the lead generation uh, platform that, the, you know, that KV Core uh, has to offer. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that, 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 you know, are part of this. There's landing pages, there's squeeze pages, um, call capture methods. You can connect lead Dropbox. We're just going to go over um, the basics of everything. So, again, in today's video, we're going to be talking about lead generation tools that KV Core provides. So I hope everyone is doing well. Say hello. Let me know how you guys are doing. Drop a question in the comments. Um, we're going to get started here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So uh, there we go. So I've got uh, my screen here for everyone to see. And you're going to see that I'm already over here under this lead engine tab on KV Core as we are doing. So guys, uh, this is going to be one of the... Uh, Final lead generation uh, videos we do with KV Core. This is going to be a high level overview. And again, we're going to be teaching some uh, conversion stuff, nurture tactics, stuff like that on the other parts of KV Core in later videos. And as always, go check it out on YouTube. I got tons of videos and content. Hey, Mandy, how you doing? Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. So, again, uh, live here on this Thursday. So, we're going to be talking about uh, just some high level overview. So we've discussed in previous weeks um, these landing pages here. We've also gone into some of these squeeze pages, to, and uh, we've even ca uh, did call capture last week. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about this lead Dropbox, about some of this bulk import, how to even use the KV Core Open House app. All right. So, given a little bit of a high level overview on some of the other tools that KV Core has to offer, and I'll start out by saying. Um, with this video that as part of your lead generation strategy, you know, a lot of you guys may have leads that are coming in from different lead sources. Give an example. You may be paying for pay-per-click leads or you have uh, making it rain or maybe you have leads that are coming from, you know, I'll, I won't even say it, the, the big Z uh, or a realtor.com or something like that. Um, and you may have leads that are coming from a specific source that you want routed automatically into KV Corp. And the way to essentially route leads from a lead source into your KV Core system automatically is right under Lead Engine under this Lead Dropbox tab. All right, so this Lead Dropbox tab right here is where you're going to go and click on it, Choose Lead Source. All right, so once you're under here, it's going to open up and it's going to pull up a couple of uh, things here. And you're going to notice some stuff here like this email um, that is going to basically be the email uh, that you can use to parse uh, for leads, for new leads. And what that means is, I'll give you guys an example. Um, if you have, uh, let's say there's, a, uh, you know, I've seen people use Red X with this or use, um, you know, use, uh, have their lenders even have leads sent to their email, um, you know, send leads to their email and stuff like that. If it is formatted in the correct way and sent to this email, KV Core will actually pull leads into your database automatically. I actually have a lead service that I, I like a lot, which is called Set Schedule. And essentially, you know, I was purchasing leads from them and they would send them to my email, my EXP email. And then I was having to take them and put them into KV Core. Well, that's no good, right? I want them to automatically go right into the system so they can trigger a campaign. And so I don't have to think about it, right? And so the best way to do that is, again, go into this uh, Dropbox here. And then what you're going to do is put this email, okay, whatever it is there, you're going to copy it. And you're going to put that as the email that this lead source that you're using, that you're paying for, sends those notifications to. And what happens is that this email here will get parsed and it will automatically drop leads into your KV Core system and put them into your database. So I'll show you an example because I went and claimed a whole bunch of leads yesterday 
um, again, from this uh, set schedule lead source that I've been using. And so they've all just automatically dropped right into my uh, KV Core uh, account. Uh, and you can see like when they were added, um, that a campaign automatically triggered. It even has, you know, here, uh, their information, all, you know, all the stuff that came from the email. And it, you know, essentially this would have been an email notification. And instead, because I went straight uh, and connected it through this lead engine, lead Dropbox, I'm able to have those leads automatically filter right into KV Core. So this email here is your parsing email. That's going to allow you to connect any lead source. And what's great is that that also works for things, again, like if you're on realtor.com and you have leads that come from there, you would simply just put this as the forwarding email for your new lead notifications, and it's going to parse them and put them into KV Core automatically. Um, you know, you can use this with many different systems. I had a lender that was sending me uh, lead notifications. They're coming from a different paid source um, and they're coming as an email notification. And I would just forward those emails to this email right here and they would drop into my KV Core system automatically. So that way I didn't have to manually type them in to the CRM. Does that make sense for everybody here? So I know there's all kinds of lead sources out there and you know, it's just very important to know that this is definitely possible and you can do this. Um, and some of you guys who, who have, you know, more complicated lead sources that maybe don't have a direct uh, email notification integration uh, or something like that, you're able to actually use this Zapier key uh, in KV Core to create a connection, basically create an automation between that lead source and KV Core. So if you are working with the lead source out there, guys, and you're paying for leads um, and they're like, hey, you know, how do we get, uh, you know, do you guys, uh, you know, maybe they're, they're asking you, hey, what CRM are you using? You say KV Core. And then they're like, OK, well, you know, we don't have an integration with KV Core. Do they have a parsing email? You're like, yes, they do. Absolutely. And then they're like, well, you know, the parsing email actually isn't working because, you know, we don't have the emails set up to go out to uh, to you. Um, so maybe we could try it a different way. Do you have a Zapier key? Yes, absolutely. And this is your Zapier key right there. Okay, so you absolutely can do this. Um, and what's great is that you can also pull it in the reverse direction using these API tokens. Um, and so essentially you can uh, pull your information from your database, your CRM. You can actually allow a third party resource to pull those leads uh, and send it the other way. So this allows you to actually create a token for these contacts. Uh, as you can see here, allow vendor to pull, create, up, update your contacts or pull your user profile, email, name, signature, website, all this kind of stuff. You can allow your data actually to go out to another system. So again, if you have, give it just an example, there's many, many ways that these things can be used, but at just a high level overview for all of you out there that are wondering like what this is and like why, how would I ever need it, right? Um, and maybe you have another business or a partner business, let's say like an insurance or something, and they have a website and they maybe want to pull some data to their website, or maybe they'd like to uh, have like a lead opt-in on their site and they want the two sites to talk, um, right? Then this, this is a way in which you can allow those two sites to talk. You may have to use a Zapier key to pull information back, but right here, this is just a, a very good way to, uh, you know, easily incorporate any lead source right into KV Core. All right. And that and that's how you want to do it. Um, now, let's say, for example, OK, you email a lead from your personal email. OK, so I'm switching topics here. Uh, now we're going to talk about. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about um, how do I connect my personal leads and my personal email, let's say my Gmail account, how do I get those into KV Core? How do I get my notes into KV Core? Well, I know that to get the contact there, I'm just gonna forward it you know, to that email and get them dropped into my Dropbox. So I'm gonna create them as a lead. But how do I make sure that the email notes are copied and CC'd to that lead? Well, as you can see here, whenever you email a lead or contact, just BCC this email address and it will capture the notes of that email, the details of that transaction back and forth. 
it will copy that into your KV Core account and tagged under the lead if it's the same email that they're registered in for KV Core. So again, that means like, for example, let's say you have a, a client that you're working with or, or a lead that you're following up with. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, they reach out to a different email or maybe you message them from a personal email that's not your KV Core email, your EXP email. Um, and so obviously because you're doing that, it's not going to track and log the, tr the, the, the responses in your CRM. The way it will log those responses and take those notes is if you forward that email or BCC the emails that you're sending to this email here, notes at whatever yours says there, you know, uh, for your personal account. Okay. So that's just another way that you can, even if it's outside of emailing from the system, you can have things log back to KV core. And it's pretty simple. And a lot of people don't know that, but that is the way to do it. So, um, I hope this makes sense. So this is a lot that we've, uh, just covered here in a short amount of time. Just Again, syncing leads with this parsing email. You got your Zapier key. You, you can connect Zillow very easily. If you go into your settings, they you know they walk you through how to connect your leads into Zillow. This is your Zillow key. You know if you have API tokens to send information to other websites. And again, you can BCC this email here to have your correspondence with leads outside of KV Core be sent to KV Core. All right. Um, so any questions so far on this stuff here? Let me see if we got any. Um, let's see. So Mandy just asked a big question, a good question. So I use Red X. She says, uh, do I just update my account with this email? Will the leads that refresh daily on Red X come into my CRM daily? In the past, I've done a bulk download from Red X that have the import team do a bulk upload. Yes, that's a great point. So, okay, guys. So what Mandy just brought up is a great point. So, uh, Mandy, to answer your question, I'm going to give you two examples because there's two ways to do this, all right? So option number one is that if you have leads coming in individually to your email, you know, ping, 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 you have a new lead, ping, you have a new lead, ping, you have a new lead. I would just replace, like you said, or see if they could even just CC this email um, from Red X, uh, as the one that gets those emails. Okay. Now you're not going to get those emails in your inbox, which is actually not, uh, not a bad thing all the time. Right. Um, but you're going to get an email from KV core anyway, if you think about it. Right. So if you send the Red X emails individually to this email, you know, you're not going to get an email from Red X saying, Hey, there's a new lead because that email is going to this parsing email, but you will get an email from KV core that says, Hey, you have a new lead from Red X. So essentially it does the same thing but it puts it into your KV Core system. Now, the second option is if that's not the case, which is what Mandy was saying, she says sometimes she does a bulk download, all right? So she brings up a great point. So if you're doing a bulk download and they're not coming in individually, like we've been saying for this lead Dropbox, you wanna go over to this bulk import tab on KV Core. So again, here we have bulk import under lead engine, all right? So, you have lead Dropbox for those individual, you know, pings that you're getting. Bulk import is where you're going to go if you're downloading a big list. And what's great about it is that KV Core actually has a very easy to use, let them handle it option. All right. You can follow the template, do it yourself. Uh, and if you hit get started, they do give you a template file. So you can actually um, go ahead and... Uh, download this template right here. I opened it in another tab. I don't think you guys can see it, but there's a button here. If you click do it yourself where they can create you, they, they create the template for you and you just fill in the rest. So that is, that is an option there. But if you don't want to deal with trying to, you know, do it yourself on this bulk import side, you can always get started and let them handle it. And when you go to submit a file, this is essentially going to walk you through uh, a very easy to follow form to submit your leads. But what's important is that you remember that all the leads you submit, if you do it at one time, they're going to come in as one lead status. All right. And what I mean by lead status, I'll go back over to my CRM here is that there's, there's, I think nine, if I'm not mistaken, lead statuses here. Um, yes, uh, eight, sorry, eight lead statuses. 
Sphere prospect, new lead, active lead, client contract closed and archived. And if you, the, the only thing you guys got to be aware of when you upload in bulk is that you either have to have all, you have to have one column where all of your leads are correctly labeled of what status they are, or you're going to have to upload all of the leads in that list as the same status. So that means if you have a list of like a thousand uh, names and numbers, right? You got a thousand leads in your database and you're doing a bulk upload, bulk import. They're all going to come in a sphere or prospect or new lead or whatever you select unless you go through and organize and sort them and create a column using that spreadsheet template that they have where you can designate each one. The other option is you can obviously just import them all as, let's say, sphere, and then you can go through one at a time and change them and update them. But that's also pretty complicated. So normally what I recommend if people, uh, you know, if somebody wants to, to do it that way, what I recommend is actually just go through. There's no limit really on how many bulk imports you can do. Like Mandy was saying, you know, kind of in her question there. So you just hit get started. You let them handle it and you submit that file and you do one uh, download for each, uh, each type of lead. So maybe you have one list that's for Sphere that you save as a, as a spreadsheet or as a C CSV file. You have one for active leads or one for past clients, one for active clients. Um, and you're going to upload each one one at a time, and it's going to upload them on the KV Core. The point is, guys, essentially, if you're doing a bulk upload, you're either just going to upload them all at once. They're all going to be labeled the same thing. Um, maybe that's okay for something like a Red X, because if you're uploading from a source like Red X, like Mandy was just asking about, um, then essentially they're all going to be kind of the same thing. Like all the Red X leads are going to be mainly cold. So you're going to upload them all as like prospects or as new leads or something like that. But if you just have a giant list that you really haven't organized, or maybe they're coming from a different CRM and instead of new lead, actively client sphere prospect, instead, you know, maybe it's like a Boomtown or, you know, or, or real geeks or another CRM out there, you know, or Firepoint or, whatever, and they're labeled maybe like a hot or a cold, or you have um, nurture, or you have like different labels that that's, that's how you've labeled them in the past. What you need to do again is either, you know, hit that, hit that find and replace under your tools or insert uh, tab on, on your spreadsheet and find and replace everyone that says, you know, let's say for example, um, let's say it was warm or cold, warm, hot, right? If it was cold, warm, hot, all right, so maybe I'm going to say that cold leads are prospects. I'm going to say that warm leads are active leads in KV Core, and I'm going to equivalent each, you know, each one in my previous CRM to the new uh, statuses again that we're talking about in KV Core. So again, like if this status here is, you know, again like Sphere prospect, new lead, active lead, client. Let's say I was using a different CRM, and their way of organizing was cold, warm, hot. I'm just going to equivalent each one, let's say prospect, new lead, active lead. So cold, warm, hot. And I'm just going to, and I'm going to hit that find and replace. So if I downloaded that CSV from a boom town or from wherever, I'm just going to find all the, all the ones in the document that say cold, and I'm going to replace it with the word prospect, right? In that column, I'm going to find all the ones that say, you know, uh, long-term nurture leads. I'm going to replace those with new lead or, you know, with active lead or something like that or whatever. And I'm just going to go out and replace these. And you got to do a little bit of organizing and update these statuses. Um, but that's really the only way to do it. You have to either upload them uh, all as one, or you have to go and sort them before they get into the system. But either way, there's a way to do it. You know, like I said, with Mandy, you can, if they're coming in one at a time, put them in the Dropbox, use that parsing email. It's going to put them right into your KV Core system automatically. Um, it will trigger a campaign as well. If you guys have campaigns set up, I highly recommend, I say this every time, go out and get custom campaigns, build your own campaigns. You know, uh, my team actually uh, created custom campaigns um, that we've used, other top KV Core users have used. And you can check it out as you guys see here at the bottom at learnkv.com if that's something you're interested in. But I highly recommend everybody goes and creates their own custom campaigns. And when you use something like this lead Dropbox feature and they're coming into your system, they'll trigger those campaigns automatically, which is a big advantage to having them just go to your email and then you got to put them in manually, right? 
So, so that is that is a big advantage there for lead Dropbox um, to do those individual ones. And if you're doing them in bulk, you want to go over and, and jump into bulk import. What's up, guys? It's Nick. Thanks for checking out my channel. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I post so much content on how to dominate the competition digitally. So if you're a real estate agent, an entrepreneur, or a business owner who wants to have better marketing, shoot better videos, and create more sales, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can connect with me everywhere on social media at Real Nick McCree. And as always, I want you guys to take the value that you learned in this video and implement it into your business right away. So that's all I got to say. Again, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.